You let Aiden put the tin in. I know you've been watching a lot like of this. I like this fire the best so far. How do we get? <laughs> come over here. Careful. In the crucible. Mm -hmm. Each one. Each one carefully. Just drop it in there. Just watch out for your sleep. I know. Well, maybe just it doesn't make a sound, no, because I put some copper dust on the bottom. It does. Does it make a sound? I heard a cold. You heard a cold. Did you hear something? Yeah. Oh. Oh, is it now? Oh, that can one. I you missed that one. Bolt? You cannot do cannon bolt until all of science was is done. Was the crucible was the crucible hot? Not yet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to touch it with my bare hands. Oh. You did? I did. I did touch it with my bare hands. Okay, we're losing Aiden here. That's right. He's normally much more engaged. He was asking me if we were learning about castle turrets. He's like, turret? Like a tank? Yeah. I'm like, you know, yeah. But I mean, I'm like, he's thinking, does it rotate? Does it have a <laughs> cannon that shoots out from the top? You know, I'm like, yeah. yeah, it's the same word, but it actually was different in those days. And so it was hard to convince him otherwise. Okay. Sprinkle the dust on there, that way the proportions. I put closer. the dust on the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. So here we go with that. Okay. So that. <laughs> you like hot pockets? Oh, I have a face shield somewhere. I need mine. Yeah, can I borrow it? Yeah. Okay, didn't you want your helmet back? Or your life perspective? Stuff like this. I love the off casting in Harbor Loop when it's like everything from China is getting opened up and you're like. It smells like Cosmoline in here. <laughs> yeah. Not inhale it's like Harbor Freighter. Check this out. So it's starting to sweat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that tells you the copper is even getting fairly close to its melting point. At least that piece was. Yeah. Um, so that's we're on the right track. Yay. So I'm put this back. Can okay. I see? Uh, I don't know about. I might have to take a picture of you see some picture. Oh yeah. I don't want to hover you over. It yeah, it's kind of fumey too. Yeah. So don't breathe deep. We definitely wouldn't want to.
How did that picture turn out? It turned out pretty good. Really? Yeah. Some of the smoke overlaying it. Everybody stand back just a little bit. That's good. probably good. Okay. Ready. Yep, are you watching? Set. or if we have copper and tin, though. <laughs> no, the rest is slag. It looks like is it's it? coming out like powder. That might be our copper powder. That dumb stuff would not unite. Probably had too much garbage. Or it's too oxidized. Yeah. Okay. I, I think, think the first right ones are only good one. Right. Look how, how cool that is, guys. That's a flame it. It's fire. just kind of like... It wasn't hot or anything, so I was good. It's Don't burning. Make it. Look this. at that, guys. Is this the hot it's end? Blow uh, yeah. Soft. It's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you get, oh, it's already solidified. You blow out. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so that, cool. The just fire that close. Is you got a picture Check that one out. Yeah. We made an awesome little. It might be just a copper or it might be just a tin bar. I don't know. The, we'll the slag stayed on the top. Okay. The slag stayed. And then the liquid poured out from underneath it and found a yeah, hole. Yeah, and I, from the shape of what ended up slag, I wonder if we ended up with a lot of copper that didn't mm. end up melting. And I, I wonder if maybe some of it was too oxidized. Huh. I don't know. Well, it's awesome how that, that green f is copper flame. I mean, yeah. that's... You're not standing downstream. Yeah, that's copper, copper burning. Copper flame. <laughs> that, yeah, look at that green light, even. Yeah, so that... It really is colorful you know flame. It is. Yeah, well, it's when it's cool enough, um, Just one. I mean, we could probably we could probably dig that one out with the tongs and quench it in the bucket. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm guessing from the look of this that we have mostly tin and mostly copper that we didn't actually get bronze. I think we didn't quite get it hot enough. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to dismiss it yet. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Now, Isn't if we'd had flux, fire? it might have helped. If we had what? This we'd had flux? some flux. Oh, okay. Um, is there purple fire? No, no we had more. kind of green fire, which I think was copper. When you burn copper, it tends to it tends to burn green. I had a lighter that had a little lump of copper in it to make a green oh, flame because yeah. it was kind of like alien yeah. theme or something. <laughs> okay. Why don't you use the? Yeah, this is some slag, which is kind of hard work. Okay, um, I'm going to need a little space for sure. just a minute. That's a lot of what it's definitely getting hot. You can see the coins are starting yeah. to go. You can almost plant charcoal around the Oh, outside. my battery's dying here. Little, little, little cr charcoal crucible. <laughs> 
I see oh, the copper starting to starting to go. I think. I just don't want to burn it all up either. Let's see here. Would you mind? I didn't get that hot enough. The bottom ones probably are. I don't think this method's going to necessarily produce what I want. Did you want to use the crucible? Um, I don't think that's necessarily because it'll. There's no way to get it in and out of there without knocking it apart. Uh -huh. Because the wire is really just holding it together for. Mm -hmm. To get it in and out. <laughs> yeah. Until the middle melts off. And yeah, the wire is going to melt before the the rest does. And the stacking. When can I touch this thing? That there aren't. <laughs> it's warm, but it's not. It's not going to burn you. Well, like Mr. Glove Hands touches. It's just barely warm. Bath water warm. <laughs> yeah. Let's look see at, the bar. Yeah, even look at the bottom as a little combination. Yeah. Yeah. I think really what that ended up being was a lot of oxidation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More than I really expected. See, look at that one portion right mm -hmm. there. That's a combination yeah. of the copper. You see the copper on yeah. the far? I love how interested the kids all are. <laughs> yeah. Was this for the adults or kids? I can't remember now. Let's see here. Well, let's cut all the copper. They seem to be stuck. Yeah. Heat the other side. Especially is red, so this one's really thick. Mm -hmm. I did a couple more that are one's a dollar and one's. Oh, to see in case you need to, too much heat. Yeah, I just wanted to see. Like, one, I'm doing it on top of the fire. Another way to do this would be to have like a pipe. Take, I could take like a, a four inch iron pipe, yeah. put it in here, bury it in charcoal, and inside that pipe would get smoking oh, hot. Mm -hmm. And I could insert the spatula right in and out of there. Okay. Oh, that would yeah. be cool. But I didn't have a. I mean, go down to McClendon's and. Yeah. No, shell white out some side. <laughs> white <laughs> side. You know, if you're looking for for scrap metal and weird stuff like that. You should just uh, put in the back of your mental catalog, you go up to Whiteside Steel up here. Mm -hmm. They got some of the bizarrest stuff. Really? They sell it by oh the yeah. pound, so it's cheaper than dirt. Okay. It's the place where I found an 18-headed dandelion with one stem. Hmm. It was about <coughs> six There's all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, there's happening. weird metals going around. Yeah, <laughs> really over there. I mean, I I've talked to the anymore. owner, uh, Gene, <laughs> yeah. before. Here's the results of our experiment. The bronze actually turned out. Uh, we ended up with a copper tin bronze. That's a button of it. The bulk of it went home with the kids. It was their science experiment after all. I was just supplying the uh, heat and some muscle and some ideas. Um, this was my attempt at Mokumegane, and you can see it did not work. Uh, I'm going to unwrap these and see what transpired. Some of the copper did melt and fuse. Yeah. That guy seems to have laminated pretty well. We definitely flattened out the... <coughs> these, aren't, these aren't coins anymore <laughs> as, far as, as far as that's concerned. But we did not get any of them to fuse together, and I, I think there were probably a couple issues. I probably did not get it hot enough. It just wasn't evenly heated to the center. And I probably hit it too hard in addition to that. So um, done some research and some guys on uh, guys on the internet clued me in that you probably shouldn't smack it very hard at all. Until it's really fused. Otherwise, it just tends to break apart. So yeah, this stuff. The the wire definitely was at the right temp. It was starting to fuse to the outside of the coins, but um, we just oxidized everything. So next time, I will start with fresh quarters, and I might clean them with something like ammonia and. Get them good and clean. Um, see all that nickel. Cooper.
cupric nickel, cupro nickel cladding on the coins that oxidized is flaking right off. Looks a lot like forge scale when they're really thin. So, yeah, that was a fail on the Mokume, but we learned a lot. And uh, the, the bronze was a success. So, the bronze right there was a success. I'll try and get that to focus. I filed it just a little bit so we can kind of determine the coloration. And the top, of course, was exposed to air, oxidized as it cooled. And so I filed that down to get uh, a look at the color. And it came out a nice, um, fairly deep golden color. Um, definitely more gold than brassy in color, which um, is pretty attractive, I think. So that was a, a copper and tin bronze. I have a, a pile of copper scrap and some aluminum. I'm going to try and make an aluminum bronze. And aluminum bronze is um, used in the marine industry for props and things like that to um, resist salt water. So I thought that would be kind of an interesting one to try out. Uh, I think part of the problem that we had with the bronze batch that we did was we, we cycled it way too much where we didn't get it all the way to temp, um, and then we the forge would kind of cool down as the charcoal burned up, and so that led to uh, oxidizing a lot of the copper off, and so uh, our our bronze that we made probably was higher in tin content than it should have been. Um, so I'm looking forward to maybe getting that dialed in a little better, where I can get the whole crucible up to the right heat and uh, get our copper to all melt into solution in our alloy. So that'll be fun, and we'll do that next time. It's Hardway Learned. Thanks for watching.